A new Wordle puzzle is online. Click on the link to play. Listening to the following video may give you clues. Please like and share the videos. Hockey legend Guy Lafleur dies at 70. Former NHLer Guy Lafleur has died at the age of 70. He was a Hall of Famer and won five Stanley Cups with the Montreal Canadiens. His death comes after a long battle with lung cancer. A tribute to Lafleur is being released by his family, who are thanking fans for their support. In a statement on Twitter, the family thanked fans for their love and support. Guy Lafleur was a Hall of Famer. Guy Lafleur was a Hall of Famer in Canadian hockey and was the first player to score 50 goals in six straight seasons. In addition to leading the league in scoring, Lafleur was also the first player to reach 100 points in six straight seasons. The Hall of Fame inducted Lafleur in 1988, and the Canadians retired his no. Tinder sigh after playing junior hockey at the National Hockey League level. Lafleur was drafted by the Montreal Canadiens with the first overall pick in the amateur draft. He would have been better served to sign with the World Hockey Association's Los Angeles Kings, but instead he chose the Canadiens, where he would have played with legendary players like Wayne Gretzky. He managed to score 24 goals in 98 games during his rookie season, but scored 54 goals during his second season with the Canadians. A Canadian legend, Lafleur played hockey in the NHL before helmets were common. His innovative skills with the stick were well received and he was named playoff MVP in 1977. However, Lafleur's most electrifying seasons were from 1974-75 to 1979-80 which corresponded to four straight Stanley Cup victories for the Montreal Canadiens. During the 1976 playoffs, a kidnapping attempt was made on him, and security was put in place to protect him from harm. The Canadiens honored Leffler with the top honor of Hall of Famer in Canadian hockey. He was a legendary player, and the team is incredibly lucky to have him as a member of their Hall of Fame. And Justin Trudeau is an admirer of the Canadiens and the president of the Canadiens, Brendan Gallagher, paid tribute to Lafleur's legacy. He played for the Montreal Canadiens. In addition to winning five Stanley Cups, Lafleur also won the Art Ross Trophy three times twice as the league's leading scorer. He also helped the Habs win five Stanley Cups between 1973 and 1979. Although his career ended prematurely, his impact is still felt today. A true hockey icon. Left Floor was revered by fans and peers alike. This article will look at the impact Left Floor had on the team as well as his career. In 1978, Left Floor was part of a kidnapping plot that was foiled during the Stanley Cup playoffs. Apparently, a police informant in an alleged bank robbery reported a kidnapping threat against Left Floor. Fortunately, Left Floor was protected by his teammates, but he still faced harsh criticism. Ultimately, Lafleur scored the game-winning goal in Game 4 of the series and the team went on to win the Cup. After retiring, Lafleur signed a one-year contract with Esposito. He played alongside Michel Bergeron, Chris Nilan, and Marcel Dion. In his final season, he managed to score 24 goals in 98 games. He was an important part of the team's success, but his retirement came after a lengthy career with the organization. He was regarded as one of the most valuable players in the history of the NHL. Despite his success, Lafleur's career was plagued by adversity. He suffered from lung cancer during the 1970s, and the team decided to retire his note. In the years since, however, Lafleur has become an ambassador for early detection of lung cancer, and has partnered with Merck Canada in an effort to raise awareness of the importance of lung cancer detection. He played 1,126 NHL games and scored 500 goals and 1,353 points over his career. He was named one of the 100 greatest NHL players. He was diagnosed with lung cancer. The Montreal Canadiens' first overall pick in the 1971 NHL draft, Guy Lafleur was a dynamic forward with blonde hair who inspired a generation of hockey players. The Canadiens retired his no. In Jersey in 1985. In 1988, he was inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame. In 1996, he was inducted into the Canadian Sports Hall of Fame. In his illustrious career, Lafleur was one of the greatest players to ever play in the NHL.
Former teammates expressed their grief over his death on social media chain Smoker before health scares became mainstream. Leffler later joined Merck Canada's Be the MVP campaign to raise awareness about the early diagnosis of lung cancer. During the 1985 season, the Canadians retired his number 10 sweater in honor of him. After his diagnosis, Lefleur didn't make many public appearances but received a rousing ovation during Montreal's run to the Stanley Cup final. In October, his no. 10 jersey was retired by the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League. After retiring from the NHL in 1984, Lefleur returned briefly to play for the New York Rangers. He later signed with the Nordicals when they joined the Thule in the same year. He had a spat with the New York Rangers' Jacques Lemaire. Lafleur's health continued to decline and in 1985 he asked Montreal general manager Serge Savard for a trade. He was denied and ultimately retired from the NHL. He later returned to the NHL as the team's ambassador following his induction into the Hockey Hall of Fame in 1988. Lafleur made his comeback in the NHL. He played one season with the New York Rangers and then two seasons with the Quebec Nordics. In 2017, he was named one of the 100 greatest players in NHL history. His career spanned 17 seasons and he still holds the Montreal Canadiens' all-time record for goals and assists. He scored 50 goals or more in six consecutive seasons, from 1970 from minus 75 to 1979 minus 80. He won five Stanley Cups with the Canadiens. A legendary goal scorer for the Montreal Canadiens, Guy Lafleur won five Stanley Cup championships in 20 years. He was second to Maurice Richard in goals with 518, and also ranked second in assists with 728. In addition to his impressive goal totals, Lafleur also compiled a remarkable list of career statistics. He had the most number of 14 and 50 goal seasons in the Canadiens' history and scored 94 game winning goals. Lafleur retired from hockey at the end of the 1984-85 season, and the team retired his number 10 jersey. However, Lafleur would return to the NHL in 1988, where he played for the New York Rangers. Sir Lafleur was named an HL Playoff MVP in 1977. In 1976-77, the Canadians won the Stanley Cup, and Lafleur was named MVP. He went on to win two Hart trophies as the league's most valuable player and the Conn Smythe Trophy for playoff MVP in 1978. In addition to his five Stanley Cups, Lafleur also received several individual awards throughout his career, including the Art Ross Trophy and the Pearson Trophy in 1981. Lafleur's relationship with the Canadiens' management became strained, and he contested the coaching job of Jack Lemaire. Lafleur's return to the NHL was limited by injuries and he was eventually traded to the New York Rangers. At 33 years old, Lafleur was inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame. His career in Montreal was filled with many highlights. He won the Conn Smythe and four Art Ross trophies and was named the Canadian Sports Hall of Fame in 1997. In addition to his Stanley Cups, Lafleur held several NHL records, including the record for points and assists. His goal totals also reached the 100-goal plateau three times, and he was named the NHL's MVP twice. He wore no flower in honor of Jean Beliveau. In honor of the hockey legend, Lafleur wore the number four during his playing career. The resemblance to Beliveau is obvious, but there is more to the storied player than the number. His grandfather and his father were friends, and he admired their mutual admiration for hockey. While Lafave Beliveau, Lafleur did not share their view of the sport. The number four was a nod to the hockey legend, who was buried in the same cemetery as his beloved Jean Beliveau. He was a prolific player in the NHL, scoring 50 goals, or more six times in six consecutive seasons. He won back-to-back heart trophies as league MVP in 1970, seven minutes 78, and three straight Art Russ trophies as the most leading scorer from 1970, five minutes 76 to 78. He retired following the 1990-91 season. Beliveau was a great help to Lafleur during his early years in Montreal, and he gave him permission to wear the same number. Lafleur would eventually surpass Beliveau's point totals, and he would become a member of the Hall of Fame. Beliveau's legacy continues beyond hockey, with a number of notable civic achievements, including a nomination to the position of Governor-General.
Beliveau's impact on the game is well documented. He won 10 Stanley Cups as a player and 7 as a member of the Montreal Canadiens upper management. It is an achievement that will never be matched in NHL history. The number was retired by the Canadiens on October 9, 1971, and Beliveau was inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame in 1972.